I just finished, um, technically in June was my last class, but I had graduation in September. Um, and I graduated from Northeastern's MBA program in the DeMore McKim School. Um, and I concentrated in marketing and business analytics there. So yeah, a lot of people ask me that given that I went straight from undergrad to graduate school. Um, they ask, you know, why, why that step? Um, and it was really because I majored in psychology undergrad and there was some change of heart in during my undergrad years that I decided I wanted to pursue business and go into the business world. Um, it was a little too late to change my major at my undergrad college. Um, so I thought the next best thing is going to graduate school and getting a higher education in business. Yeah, so networking was emphasized a great deal in my program. Um, and I think for a great reason, you have all these connections during your time there. So um, they really make sure that you're utilizing those. And right now, so I'm actually on the job search and pretty much my days are filled with networking. So I was definitely not comfortable doing the types of things that I do now um, prior to going through grad school. Um, I reach out to really just random people that I have maybe a slight connection with um, and pull on that. And it actually has benefited me a great deal. I've landed a number of interviews just from reaching out to people who I've either made connections with during my graduate years or kind of just reach out to cold call style. Um, so networking is definitely huge for me and I'm appreciative of all that Northeastern's taught me about how to do it. The confidence is a big, a big thing that they kind of instilled in us um, that it's rare for someone to kind of say no when you're reaching out like that and asking for some assistance or just a little chat. Um, and I think Northeastern helped us realize that, you know, people are nice and they, you should reach out and you should, um, you know, ask for help when you need it. My favorite class was actually my consumer, I think it was called consumer behavior. Um, and I was actually working in the consumer insights department of Hasbro while I was taking the course. So it was great because I, knew some of the stuff that I was getting taught and, you know, I was able to contribute in class, but I also learned so much and I was able to bring it to my work, um, which was awesome. And that's kind of, I think that's what they want you to do when you're working simultaneously and when going to school. So that was great. And my professor had some really cool stories about consumer insights projects that she's done or that she's just read about. So she was super knowledgeable in the area. Um, and it kind of just drilled in even more that that is the path that I want to take. So um, I really love that class. So I, Amanda actually touched upon this a little bit. I think the biggest challenge was for me was um, kind of having to, I'm not sure if this was in my own head or if this was actually the case, but kind of having to prove myself to my other classmates that even though I don't have the work experience, even though I'm a little younger, um, I can still keep up with what we're learning in the classroom and contribute a lot. Um, that was a lot of it, I assume, was in my own head, kind of telling myself, you know, you have to do this. But um, I think that was a hurdle that I had to get over. And once the classes started going and I was contributing and my classmates saw me working in the group projects and contributing just as much as them, I think that was, then I, prove to both myself and them that I was able to keep up and contribute just as much as they were, or just like different sort of um, point of view. So I'm currently reading Little Fires Everywhere, which is exciting because then I get to watch the TV show, which I've heard great reviews about. Um, so that's going to be, hopefully I'll start watching that soon. I think I could probably finish within the next week. Um, and then in terms of what I'm listening to, I am a true crime junkie. So I listen to all these podcasts, like pretty much every true crime podcast that's out there I've listened to, um, all, like constantly when I'm just doing chores around the house, when I'm just going for a walk, when I'm making my bed for five minutes, I turn on a true crime podcast. <laughs> Sure. So I think probably I 
email is a really good way. Um, but LinkedIn, you can never really go wrong. Um, email, I feel like it's maybe a little more casual and um, I'm quicker to respond, but LinkedIn, I'll always be looking at. That's been um, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Emma. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Christina. This has been great. Thank you.